Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed that the ecological area in Wadi Al Bahir, that contain terrain and rocky hills, be considered a nature reserve and called on the relevant authorities to take the necessary ministerial measures and decisions to ensure the preservation of the area. His Royal Highness further directed the relevant authorities to continue the urban and infrastructure development in the Wadi Al Bahir area while taking into consideration the preservation of its protected areas. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to preserving and developing areas of natural and historic value to support its role as tourist attraction. The Supreme Council of Health President Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the World Health Organization, the WHO, Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office Director Dr Ahmed Al Madari upon his visit to the Kingdom. The President affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide the highest quality health services for citizens and residents. He praised the fruitful role of the WHO Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office in achieving success in implementing prominent joint health projects. Dr Sheikh Mohammed noted the importance of continuing to activate the frameworks and policies of close cooperation with the WHO and documenting success stories that reflect the effectiveness of the measures taken to maintain universal health coverage. Dr Al Mandari expressed the region officer's thanks and appreciation for Bahrain's distinguished efforts within its health system, which enhance confidence in all steps and experiences that keep pace with the latest global health developments. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif Al Ziani, participated in the International Ministerial Conference on Freedom of Religion or Belief in London. The Minister highlighted Bahrain's efforts to consolidate tolerance, a dialogue, and common understanding among all religions, cultures, and civilizations. He asserted the Kingdom's respect for human rights and religious freedoms, following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister further reiterated that due to the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the esteemed government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, strengthened its pioneering successes as an inspiring model in respecting the rights of citizenship and establishing the values of religious, sectarian and ethnic tolerance under the rule of law and institutions and spreading a culture of peace and human brotherhood in its regional and international surroundings. He stressed that the freedom to practice religious rights is guaranteed to all, adding that the National Human Rights Plan 2022 to 2026 discusses the promotion of religious freedoms, peaceful coexistence between religions and cultures, acceptance of the other and promotion of national harmony and unity through educational, media, religious and legislative programmes and initiatives in accordance with the Constitution the principles of the National Action Charter and the National Plan to promote the spirit of national belonging and consolidation of citizenship values are Bahrain. The Kingdom further praised Bahrain's pioneering initiatives at the regional and global levels by organising international conferences for dialogue between religions, beliefs and civilizations. Over two decades, the most recent of which was this year, was broadening the tent Freedom of Religion and Belief FORB conference. The Minister also noted Bahrain's commitment to protecting freedom of religion and belief, deepening international partnership in safeguarding religious and intellectual rights and freedoms, and rejecting division, fanaticism and religious sectarian or racial hatred as basic guarantees for respecting human rights and consolidating regional and global peace in face of violence, extremism and terrorism. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, met with the UK Prime Minister's Special Representative and the Minister of State for South and Central Asia, United Nations and the Commonwealth at the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, Lord Ahmed Tariq Ahmed, during the Conference on Freedom and Religion of Belief held in London. The two sides discussed the bilateral relations between Bahrain and the UK and their development as well as means to promote joint cooperation in various fields that would achieve common objectives. The meeting affirmed the joint efforts to enhance the existing cooperation between the two countries in the field of human rights protection 
and to promote the values of tolerance and coexistence between peoples of religions and beliefs and in all areas that we consolidate public freedoms. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary, Peter Giotto. During the meeting, the two sides discussed evolving bilateral relations existing between Bahrain and Hungary, in addition to addressing regional and international issues of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigrants of Lebanon, Dr. Abdallah Bou Habib. The meeting discussed relations of joint cooperation between the two brotherly countries, a means of enhancing them in various fields, to serve mutual interests in addition to regional and international issues of common interest. The Minister of Labour and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that the unemployment insurance system is one of the leading programmes at the regional and Arab levels for the social protection it provides to job seekers and those who lost their jobs for reasons beyond their control, which has always received commendations, including Bahrain's winning first place at the Arab level in social protection. Humidan noted that Bahrain has provided a model in establishing modern law that aims to sustain social protection for citizens through the Unemployment Protection Programme. The Minister emphasised that the programme's role during the pandemic, especially in supporting the private sector, to sustain commercial work, maintain the stability of the national workforce and reduce layoffs as a result of the pandemic. Humidan asserted that the government, in cooperation with the Legislative Authority, endeavours to develop the system in accordance with social and economic developments, noting that the amendments came according to social and economic indicators and the government's keenness on increasing social protection and societal stability for job seekers and all workers in the kingdom. The Minister of Health, Dr Jalila Hassan, received World Health Organisation, the WHO Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office, EMRO Director, Dr Ahmed Al-Mandari. She affirmed that the Kingdom will continue consolidating its partnership with the WHO to achieve common health goals. She stressed the importance of the ongoing effective cooperation with the WHO in supporting efforts to develop the health sector and ensure its sustainability at all levels, particularly regarding joint efforts to combat disease and epidemics. She asserted that Bahrain's partnership with the WHO had been strengthened following the opening of the WHO's office in the Kingdom which crowns the outstanding bilateral a decades-long relations. She highlighted the great support enjoyed by the health sector in the Kingdom thanks to the directors of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. For his part, Dr Almandri commended the efforts of the Kingdom's health system, citing its distinguished role in achieving common health goals. He praised the success of Bahrain's robust health system in combating the coronavirus pandemic. The CEO of the National Cyber Security Centre, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, inaugurated a workshop on a discussion of cyber security controls in the health sector, organised by the centre in cooperation with the National Health Regulatory Authority. On this occasion, Sheikh Salman expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his support and guidance and his keenness and interest in implementing and following up on all that develops the level of cyber security in Bahrain strengthens capabilities and provides the necessary capabilities to monitor and address threats and risks. He stressed that the National Cyber Security Centre seeks, through holding this workshop, to discuss the security controls of the health sector with the government and private health institutions in Bahrain, to match them with the best international practices, considering that organising such workshops and working to secure protection systems in line with developments in the field of security is one of the essential factors to achieve the strategic objectives of the Kingdom by providing a safe cyber environment for the health sector. The Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, and first Vice President of the Arab-Brazilian Chamber of Commerce, Samir Abdullah Nas, participated in the opening of the Arab-Brazilian Economic Forum. During his speech, Nas stressed the importance of establishing a direct shipping corridor between Brazil and Arab countries to expand strategic partnership, diversify the development of the volume of trade exchanges between the two sides 
as well as stimulate and support suppliers from SMEs with a direct transport system. He noted the importance of the digital economy, pointing out that Brazil is the first trading partner of Bahrain in terms of the value of imports in the second and third quarters of 2021, as it recorded a growth in trade volume that exceeded $2.2 billion in 2021. He also stressed Bahrain's private sector's keenness to expand partnerships with its Brazilian counterparts. The BCCI chairman expressed optimism about the joint Bahraini Brazilian cooperation in promising sectors such as renewable energy, food security, information and communication technology, and tourism, noting the importance of unifying efforts to promote trade between Bahrain and Brazil and to reach the common goals through signing more agreements in the field of encouraging joint investment, reducing custom tariffs, preventing double taxation, and increasing the presence of companies and investors in the markets.